Hello everyone. Please look at the right side of the slide first. Imagine you are in the middle of typing with someone you care about or having a lot of fun on your iPhone, and suddenly it goes powered off. That would be the most horrible thing happening in the world. Then you are trying to restart it again. However, no charging the phone, no resuming. And who is to blame? The batteries. Apparently, batteries have become the new necessities of our human life. Your cell phones can work much longer hours than ever before. The electrical vehicles can drive as far as 400 kilometers on one single charge. Yet, the current battery systems cannot meet the growing needs of people. We want the phone to be lighter, and we want the vehicles to run faster and further. To use lithium cobalt oxide? Come on, cobalt is expensive, and adding the cost of the batteries. Lithium iron phosphate? That sounds safe, but the energy density is not high enough. Ternary materials like NCM? That comes close. So, what about we move a step forward to lithium-rich light materials which possess much higher capacities? In lithium-rich light materials, nickel, cobalt, and manganese are like forming a stable triangle with their synergistic effect. Nickel can improve the capacity, while cobalt can inhibit cation rearrangement, and manganese is here to enhance the stability and reduce the cost. However, during the charge and discharge processes, oxygen atoms can be transformed into oxygen gas, leaving oxygen vacancies on the surface of the materials. According to the equation, the generated oxygen gas seems very sensitive to the concentration of oxygen vacancies. To suppress such oxygen release problem, I designed a facile and a scalable method by just using carbon dioxide for the gas solid reaction at room temperature. Carbon dioxide molecules combine with the oxygen atoms to form a carbonate group, which will be extracted via a simple water wash procedure, then forming oxygen vacancies. The pre-generated oxygen vacancies on the surface of materials can successfully alleviate gas release phenomena which is further confirmed by inside to XRD test. At the same time, the oxygen redox can provide extra capacity, thus increasing the whole capacity of materials. That is all about my research, and thank you so much for your time.